We are showcasing Hot Wheels 2020 International J Case models right here on HDub 50. If you like watching diecast videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and ring the bell to get notifications when we upload new videos. We've got a lot to open up today, so let's just get right into it. Coming up first is the Eric Stein rod. Now this kind of caught my eye because this is a little different from what is normally uh, a rod that we see. So I think the closest to getting something like this would be, I just had it. Here we go. It's a matchbox. It's kind of like another rod. Right, let's see that. That's going to enter the blue collection. But yeah, this is uh, probably the closest to that. It'd be like a, would this be considered a rat rod? I, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a rat car, but. There we go, first one up. Eric's, Eric Stein rod. Whoa, running away there. Let's get a little closer. Yes, Mr. Dyson, I did not put the sugar patch yet under the, under the, the legs yet. But it'll come one day. We'll get it. All right. Oh, look at that front end. Cool. For a, it's kind of a light car. Really light. Look at that big steelies on the back. All right. Next up, we got this recolor the bat bat plane. Now I know I have the black one somewhere. I've never. I don't think I've opened it yet. So let's get this one open. This is the recolor in gray. Unfortunately, this feels like it's, except for this piece right here, feels like it's all plastic. Cool, nevertheless, it is still a Batman item. Let's get that out of the way. Hey, cool. Up next, uh, 20 Jeep Gladiator. This one's pretty cool. I, I'm growing up, I, I had a, I bought me a 240SX, but one of my choices was a Jeep, but I, I didn't like the Wrangler too much because it, it didn't have four doors. I mean, I don't like not having extra doors, you know? But when they did make a Ford or Wrangler and enclosed it and had a and offered a soft top also I already had my car but this one they now make a Jeep truck this Renegade's pretty cool you can see them around like it love it it's uh, on its way out yeah up next 2018 Ford Mustang GT this one's with the Borla now I like this casting a lot, uh, not only because it's a Mustang, but because I like it. I like the Borla design. This is cool. This one's a shiny one. I think the last one was flat, and I think they had a super version, right, of this, which I think I do have. We should do a cracking open. Okay, up next, BMW Z4 M Motorsport. Interesting, uh, interesting name. Kind of, uh, kind of, sort of looks like. Uh, I shouldn't even compare it to a, a Honda, a Honda, a Toyota Celica, but with this wing like that, it does look like more of an import, Asian import than a European. My opinion. Anybody disagree or agree? Throw it in the comments. All right. Next one is up. Next one up is the 8 Crate, and I believe the 8 Crate is a fantasy car, if I'm not mistaken. But, you did that white walls, though. Look at that. I like the white walls. It's kind of cool. It makes it look like, like a, a classic 50s, 40s, 50s, more like, more like 50s. Uh, station wagon, but with a gigantic motor in the back. 
going into motor or muscle cars here we go the mopar uh, 68 dodge dart yeah that's nice that's probably going to enter our, the blue collection too and I, I believe the last one i saw was more like a darker blue or, was it a dodge dart i'm not sure but i'm gonna put that on that side because it's gonna sit with the blue collection and 57 Plymouth Fury is next. And I believe this is the Christine model. Uh, I wonder if they're going to make a premium of this Christine. Uh, with this casting of the Christine. I hope they do. I do want it. But for now, I'll take some vintage racing like this. That'll look cool. Yeah, I believe the next one, this custom auto, is also a fantasy car, but for some reason, it looks pretty cool. I believe that's a purple. Yep. Yeah. But it looks, still looks pretty cool. I think with those gold wheels, I think if we change it, it would look a lot better, but look at that. Does it have tail lights? No, no tail lights. Cool. Next one. 68 Shelby GT500. Look at that bad boy. That definitely is entering the blue collection. And that's why I have it here. That's going to enter the blue collection. Look at that flame. This is iconic Hot Wheels colors. Uh, well, the flames are a little more yellow. Still, this is this is iconic. Look at that blue. That, look at that blue. Awesome. That's gonna go in the blue collection. So I can sit there. Okay, next up, another. Well, I don't know if this is a fantasy car, but I think it's more like an entertainment car. We've got the Ninja Turtles party van. Yep, that one's going in my collection too. Watched Ninja Turtles growing up. I think they're really awesome okay up next jaguar with the long name project eight this color is a cool color it's like a let's get it under the light i believe this is like a metallic forest dark forest green like that when i first saw it i, I was thinking it's similar to this one And it, those colors are just really dark. Look at that. That is a beautiful color. I don't want to start another color collection. But if I did, this would be the next one. Okay, I pulled this one out. The 16 Lamborghini Cent Centurio Roadster. I'm not a huge Lamborghini collector. Uh, but I believe this is a new model. I don't know because this is an international case. They don't mark them new. So, I mean... There's 72 cars to a case, and they put out one, I think it's every three weeks, since there's 15 cases a year and 12 months. I think it works out to every three three weeks, I think a new case is out. But I just have to take a look at this one. If this is not a new model, um, yeah, if it's not a new model, just let me know in the comments. Okay, next up, this is a Asian import. Um, manga tuner but it's also a tuned I've been looking for the red one I like the red one but I think this one's gonna enter the wife's collection it also has a cool name <laughs> yeah look at those exhaust pipes boom okay up next highly sought after Datsun 510 Oh, yeah, that's in wagon, bluebird wagon. Oh, that one's not even glued. It's like it's meant to, meant to be taken out. There you go. Look at that. Momo is a pretty cool, pretty cool design to have. Yeah, that's going to enter the collection. I really don't want to start a red collection either, but if I did, 
Ferraris and that would be in it. Okay, Honda Civic Type R. Honda Civic Type R, just like a racing version. I think we should change the wheels on it. Honda Civic Type R is one of our highly, uh, we, we did a showcase on some 2018 models that were released, the uh, Vizimoto white, uh, red, blue, and the white one, I believe, the black one. Um, but that seems to be one of our highest viewed, one of our higher viewed videos that still get a lot of, um, a lot of views, so we're going to break those out again and let's showcase all of them together. Okay, sticking with the Honda theme, we're going to go with an Acura NSX, even though it's made by Honda, it is still, it's an Acura, it's still a Honda, Honda Corp. But I, I think this is probably my, my favorite color variation or color combination on the NSX, the iconic red with the black windows yep i still can't believe that this car is from 1990 and it's still on the road people are still driving it it's still i mean it's an exotic car why not okay going over to acura integra and leave a few of these in different different colors I think it had the camouflage, but it's got gray wheels. I forgot to check what series that was from. Uh, speed, speed blur. Yeah, it is speed blur because it's got the gray wheels. Cool. That's another one. If I had a red collection, that would go in there. Okay, up next, we're gonna do the Honda S2000. This one. I believe everyone's looking for that. The G Ready uh, livery on the side. Oh, they did headlights. Cool. No tail lights though, but that's no problem. And here we go. Honda Prelude. This is new. Honda 98 Honda Prelude. Awesome looking color. Nice silver. Plain. Kind of my thing. Uh, I do like them modded out though. I do, I do like this kind of vintage racing look too. If they did, uh, if they did uh, Honda Prelude like this, yeah, I'd still get it. But it does look really nice, plain. This uh, probably was my favorite design for the Prelude. I like how those headlights uh, look on the real car. And I like that these are actual headlights. They're clear. Oh, you could do work wonders with the LED lighting now. Okay, up next. Volvo 850 Estate. Don't ask me why, but I like this car. And I used to work at a Volvo dealer. Just not when this is probably in the 90s. 80s when that? No, probably late 80s. When this body style came out. But I still like it. I'm I'm trying to make a diorama. I would like to make a diorama of the dealership that I worked for that had this Volvo line. And then, well, we had two locations. So I want to make one of the Volvo line and then one of the Pontiac, Lincoln, Mercury, and Isuzu. Okay, up next. Entering the blue collection is going to be the Porsche, Porsche Panamera Turbo s e hybrid sport turismo let's say that once and that should be more than enough but look at that look at this oh look at that that blue just pops i don't even want to replace those wheels i've never seen really blue wheels uh i haven't been collecting that long so maybe there was but i've never seen blue wheels like that cool that looks really nice with all the lights and the logo, Porsche logo. Cool. It's going to go in the blue collection. Here's another Porsche. And this is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And look at that library on, 
on the side. I believe this is a game, right? Hot Wheels Exotics. Okay. I am not a huge Porsche fan. I mean, a huge Porsche collector. Take that back. Uh, I think Porsches are cool. Look at this flat black. And then it's got that in glossy black on the roof. That This is pretty awesome. This is almost... I mean, you change the wheels and you have a premium version. Wow. I do like Porsches, but I think I like the 956A better. Here's, here's a close-up. These I'm collecting, and I know that there's a new yellow one coming out in the next series of Boulevard. Okay, so here we are. Last, but definitely not the least. And I wanted to take a look at this one. The 91 GMC Cyclone. Now, Chevy did have a version of this Cyclone also. And, I, and the, the name is escaping me right now. But they did have a version. I'm surprised that they did this one GMC and not Chevrolet. You would think uh, Chevy would have the upper hand on that. But maybe they didn't want to sign it. Uh, sign over the the license for one of these, but I believe the Chevy version, the S10. I believe that, that was a Cyclone too. I, I can't wait to see this one in premium, though. I I just cannot wait. This, if they if they were to do just the GMC on the hood in red, you don't have to do the lights because most. I mean, if I had it, I would have put tinted lenses over the, the headlights and just put a red uh, a red paint over the GMC to, to showcase the GMC. I think you might be... Can I get any closer? So you can just barely see the GMC. And then on the side, the Cyclone is really small, but that's about the size it would be on the car anyways. On the real size car let's see you can see that on the tail but this is a beauty this is nice this is a the epitome of the 80s into 90s pickup trucks especially when they went with those ss model what is it tahoe impala i think they made a blazer too and these cyclones Oh, I do have a Chevy 1500 S 454 SS uh, in 124 scale. I might do it on my second channel. I'll link the second channel right here. Here. And uh, hopefully you can go on over to that channel and subscribe there too. Uh, this is going to be the primary channel with all the Hot Wheels, the new releases, the RLC stuff. That one is going to be... Like a side project where I, I'm going to put shorter videos, like one or two minute videos. I'm going to be using pictures and video I already have anyways. Uh, it's stuff that I take. When I go to stores, I take pictures a lot. And I don't know whether I'm going to use those pictures or not. So I, I keep them. And then when I don't need them, it starts to flood my, my camera roll on my phone. And then I got to purge them. But I'm figuring I can use that video... Uh, those videos those pictures for something and I want to do the second channel with that and just be a short small discussion uh, informational wise and then see who comments maybe we'll do other stuff there that we can't fit on this channel we'll put on that channel so hopefully you like what you saw today I wanted to wait all the way until the end to showcase this one and I did Take this out of this case. It's an international card. Let's turn around, show you the back. Just to show proof. What we're looking at is an international card. And uh, I'm thinking if you made it this far, maybe I'll do a giveaway. I'm going to give it to the first person that comments with the phrase, I love HW50. Once you do that, send us an email at shareyourcars at hotwheelscollectorshoy.com and I will reply to you with a code. This is just to validate your email belongs to 
your user on YouTube. And from there, we'll exchange your address and I'll get this one off to you. So if you like what you see, and hopefully you did, because you're here at the end, we're just over 20 minutes now. So please like the video, share the videos with your friends, and don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications when we upload new videos. We are HDub50. For our new viewers, check out our end screens where you'll see links to our previous video, a video YouTube thinks you'll like, and one we think you should watch. See you all on Wednesday. Have a good one.